Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Uh, hey, 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 hey. Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. Oh. Chief, 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 chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it, my medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. <laughs> we don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <gasps> oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. <clears throat> if it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <clears throat> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will. And you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? <laughs> <laughs> I heard your orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We orcas will help you find them. Huh? huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Yeah. <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! <sighs> We've got to stay with the gum. Jump again! <sighs> <sighs> Oh! Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes! Gotcha! Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm 
I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. Yep, yep. <laughs> you did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping. I think I see something. It's Barnacles and Peso. We found them. What's happening? Quasi, you found us. I knew you would. It's coming back. Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. 
nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um... Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. <laughs> oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. <laughs> this might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. <laughs> Nope, too big. Too small. Too thin. Nope. 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 <gasps> Wait a minute. There. That's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. But why did the wee sharks attack the Octocam cables? Because they get confused and mistake soft material like rubber for a blubber. Rubber for blubber. We've got to ask them to stop biting our equipment. But first, we need to catch these rubber blubber lovers, and I have an idea. Barnacles to tweak, we're going to need your help. <laughs> You ordered a big rubber whale balloon? Thanks, Tweak. Let's set it up near the octocam and then everybody hide. I'm innocent. I wasn't even there. You took bites out of our equipment and broke it. Oh, that. Uh, look, we're, we're cookie cutter sharks. We uh, thought your equipment was food, so we took a nibble. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. But how did you keep hiding from us? Uh, 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 yeah, clamming up, are you? Oh, OK, OK. We'll show you how we do it. Your bellies glow. So when we're looking at them from below, 
They blend in with the sunlight. And all you see are those black marks that make them look like skinny fish swimming by. So that's why nobody can see you from below. Guess we can't fool you anymore. No, no, no can't fool absolutely you. Absolutely no fooling you at all. But why did you leave your teeth in our cup? Don't you need them? Our teeth come out in whole rows like that and grow back really quickly. But what about the teeth that disappeared? I put them down and then they were gone. The teeth disappeared because I ate them. You ate your own teeth? That doesn't sound very healthy. Mm, it is if you're a cookie cutter shark. Our teeth have lots of vitamins in them. So, the mystery is solved. But could you please stop nibbling on our equipment? OK, OK, but we'd really like a snack about now. Oh, Ooh, yeah, oh, I'm like really snack. hungry. Ah, uh, I've got an idea for that. <laughs> this fish biscuit is way better than rubber. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. <laughs> a fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on. <laughs> three, two, oh, oh. one. Ah. It's okay. We've stopped. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Ow! Captain, look out! We're trapped. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes then? Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving, and it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> A blast! Tis the legendary deep sea unicorn. Ha, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. Here we are, the octopod. Pinto! Peso! Captain Barnacles and my fellow octonauts, this is my little brother Pinto. Welcome aboard, Pinto. Thanks. This is Professor Inkling, ah. Tunip, and Tweak. Hi. Was your trip okay? It was the best ride ever. Quasi taught me how to talk like a pirate. Aye, matey. Shiver me flippers. <laughs> this is for you, me hearty. Welcome aboard the Octopod. <sighs> Do I look like a real pirate? Yow! Yow! I'm ready for action. <clears throat> And this is Dashie and Shellington. Hello. It was great to meet you, Pinto. 
We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. <gasps> I want to go on a mission too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. Wait! Aha! Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. Aha! Last one there for your rotten fish egg. <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one. And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi. Right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto, I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Stop! Pinto, what do you 
think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster. It's an oarfish. And... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check.